Hi everyone, I'm Ashley from Kringly Quilts. I am a Husqvarna Viking brand ambassador and a quilt pattern designer from Montana. And today we are going to be upcycling some jeans and making this cute, trendy patchwork pocket. So we're just gonna jump right in and I uh, hope you guys enjoy. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna measure our pocket. So I have a ruler right here and I'm just going to measure the widest portion of our of it. So it is about uh, five and three quarters wide and about five and three quarters tall. So when we make our pocket, we are going to want to make it about one and a half inches larger on each side. So about, we're about two inch, two and a half inches larger in total. So we're gonna round up and say my pocket is six inches wide and six inches tall. So if we can make a patchwork piece that is eight and a half inches square, then that will give us enough room to tuck in the sides underneath and, and trim. And you know, we'll have a lot of extra space to work with. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to make my patches one inches total. So if you're not familiar with the world of quilting, there is a quarter inch seam on each side. So you'll lose a half inch from the original size. So I'm going to start with a bunch of half inch, one and a half inch squares. So the final size of the square will be one inch. But before we go and sew that together, we are going to remove the pocket from our jeans. And this is the worst part. So get your seam ripper out and we're going to start. Now I, I did half of the work before because I thought, you know, watching me remove a pocket with a seam ripper would be as about as entertaining as watching paint dry. But this bar tag stitch right here is kind of the hardest part of getting these pockets off. So I thought I'd show you on one side how to do that. And essentially what you're going to do, you're going to try and pry so that you can see the thread. Stick your seam ripper in there and just try and bust one or two of those stitches. And then you'll start to be able to open it up even more. So continue to just get one or two of those threads, bust that stitch open, and keep going. All righty. Okay, try and be careful not to rip a hole in your jeans while you're doing this, or you're gonna have to mend that hole before you do a pocket. So just keep working, not busting those threads. I am making good progress right here. I've almost got that bar tack stitch removed. There we go. Pretty much got it there. So now that I got that bar tack stitch done, go for this side right there. There we go, that's pulled apart. Then these straight line stitches are pretty easy. You just kind of run your seam ripper along them and bust those out.
we are almost done. Just this straight away and then we're good. All right, so my pocket is now off. As you can see, it was very obvious where my pocket was, but if you want to, you can take a like water soluble pencil or something and just outline your pocket that way you know where to put it back. All right, so as we said, my pocket is about six inches wide and six inches tall. And so if I want, my patchwork to be one and a half inches wider on each or two and a half inches wider total, then it would be about eight and a half inches for patchwork. So that would be eight one inch squares by eight one inch squares. So I have 64 one and a half inch squares in here to make an eight and a half inch patchwork. So let's go to our machine and start piecing some patchwork. Alrighty. So I'm just going to start with, I'm going to put a bunch of squares right over here so I can see them. I like to keep my needle in the down position as I sew because I like to chain piece. And if you don't know what chain piecing is, um, it's essentially where you sew everything together and then just uh, keep it all together until you're all done sewing it. So I'm just gonna pick any two squares. Oh, and I should mention, I have a very short stitch length. It is at a one to 1 1.5 is where I like it for this, just to make sure that everything is secure because you're wearing these on your bum. So they're gonna get worn a little bit. So we're just gonna start sewing pieces together. And I'm gonna do four rows right now. So four rows of eight. That will be half of our two. Three. And one more. Four. Okay, and cut my threads. And I bring it back to the top, open that up, and we're going to add another row. One. Now I'm sewing my pieces right side together so that when I open them up, the right side will be out. And I am just kind of sewing them together any which way I want. I didn't really plan out what my patchwork would look like, but you certainly can. Now I'm using the quarter inch piecing foot and I'm just sewing one quarter inch seam allowances for every single one of these. So one quarter inch seam allowance and we're gonna add our next section. So we have three together, we want eight. So let's add another section. Okay. 
All right, there we go. That's half, and we have four more to add. All right, we are at five. Do this nice green right here. All right, I got in the zone and I lost count of what, what number we're on. Oh, one more section, we're almost there. No, no, one's too much. Here we go. Great, there we go. There is half of our little quote block. So let's go take it back to the home table and we'll go from there. Hold on. There we go. Okay, so here we have our little patchwork that we just made. And so it's all stuck together now because I just chain pieced it. So I'm going to take my rotary cutter and I'm going to break them apart carefully, just cutting those threads in between the rows. 
You can use scissors for this if you're not as brave as I am to just take a rotary cutter near your fabric. Okay, let me make sure this is nice and hot. We are. Okay, so we're gonna, that one didn't break apart. Make sure they're good. Okay, so we're gonna press our seams. Move this over so you can see what I'm doing. So we want our seams of our patchwork to nest. And what that means is that one row, so these rows will be sewn together. One row seams we want to go right to left, and the other row seams we want to go left to right. That way, when we flip them over together, the seams, one seam will be going one direction and the other seam will go in the other direction, and then we'll have a nice, pretty point. And I'll show you what that looks like because I have the other half done. So you'll see, see if I can get you really close, how one seam is going this way and then this seam is going that way. And then on the other side, we have a nice, beautiful point right there. So let's press our block. So have it laid out. And I'm going to have these two rows seams going right to left. So we're just going to flip them over. Take our iron and just press those seams right to left. There we go, nice and flat. Put that guy back and we'll do this one. All right, right to left. There we go. Now these two seams we're going to have going the opposite direction. So I'm going to flip it and press that the opposite direction, or the same direction, but this row's the opposite way. So it ends up going the correct direction. So this seam, these seams are going that way. These seams are going this way. These seams are going this way as well. And now we want these seams to go this way. So we'll press, wait, wait, am I doing it right? I just second guessed myself. Yeah, this way. Okay. Oof. That happens sometimes, even for someone who is as experienced as I am at pressing seams. Sometimes you just question yourself. All righty. There we go. So now we are going to take this, these back to our sewing machine, and we're going to sew these two rows together and these two rows together and then we'll press the seams open and then sew the two pieces together and press that seam open as well so let's head back to the sewing machine okay. so as you can see because our seams are in opposite directions they are just gonna sandwiched together perfectly and you can pin this if you like i am not much of a pinner i just like to stick them together and then go from there and then every time we come to a new intersection i just make sure those seams are coming together nicely and i'll get through that one and to the next one Okay, there's one done. We're going to do this one now.
All right, and we're just going to break these two guys apart and go press them open. All right. So we're just going to open our piece, and then I just, with my fingers, get that seam started. And then Hands work. There we go. And you just get that seam pressed open. All right, there's one piece. I, okay, so somebody asked, have you tried to keep chain stitching together without snipping threads, iron, and then just sew the rows? Um, I've seen it done a while back and was wondering pros and cons, if any. I have not tried that. I have also seen it and been curious about that, but I always am hesitant to try that. Um, one, because I feel like the threads, if you don't snip them, and then you sew them together like if there's like a loop or something it'll stick out and then i don't like cutting threads at the very end i find it annoying annoying step of the process of quilting and so i just want to i just don't want to have threads poking out through my quilt top and that always worries me but i have not tried it i have seen it done um if you do try it just let me know how it works because i i am interested in that okay so i have two pieces done these seams are going this way. These seams down here are going this way. We are going to put them together and then just sew it, press our seam open again. And then we'll sew that to this piece that I have already made. So then it'll be our eight and a half by eight and a half inch block or, you know, a little quilt. So let's go to the sewing machine with this guy real quick. Okay, let's go press this seam open. Okay, let's see how good I did at not having two of the same color next to each other. I did okay. Look at that, guys. 
it's going to look super cute. Okay, let's sew these two pieces together now at the sewing machine. Let's press this thing. Okay. Now I did a terrible job because I forgot to check what direction my seams were on the previous little thing I made the other half, but it's okay. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna press it and just deal with it. My seams were still, I was still able to make my seams nest by, by pushing them down. Okie dokie. Get this wall mat out of the way. All right, so here we have our little pocket patchwork and we're gonna lay it right side down. And here's my pocket. Let me make sure my strawberries are in the right direction. Oops, that is. We're gonna try and lay the pocket kind of in the center. And as you can see, we have lots of extra room around around the pocket for trimming and such, which we're gonna do right now. So from the top of the pocket, what we wanna do is be able to like fold it down like this so that when you stick your hand in the pocket, there's not gonna be a raw edge right here and you're not gonna be like spraying fabric or anything. So try and keep it straight on there. I'm gonna do one and a half inches from the top, which is essentially the top of this. So I'm just gonna let that slide because it's essentially the top right there. And then I'm going to trim a half inch from each of the sides of the pocket. So just one half inch away. I'm gonna trim that. So my rulers on the my half inch line is measured or lined up with the side of the pocket. So we trim off that little piece. I'm gonna flip it and do this side. Okay, that's trimmed, and then the bottom, we're gonna still do that, that half inch away. All right, and then I have some clips you can use like wonder clips or whatever they're called you're gonna fold this one over and just pull it tight to that pocket and clip her down in a couple places now right here in these corners we're gonna trim at like a 45 degree angle we're just gonna trim that excess off right there And on this side as well. And that'll just make it easier for us to fold our fabric over. So I'm just clip that and then we're just gonna fold over.
This looks like a ridiculous amount of clips for one little pocket, but it, trust me, you need, you need to keep these uh, little edges secure. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to go around uh, the edge of the pocket just with like an eighth inch seam allowance and just secure, secure this fabric to our pocket. So let's go to the sewing machine over here. Okay, so I still have my quarter inch foot on. And here's my little stiletto. I don't know if you guys have a stiletto, but they're amazing. I'm just gonna get in there. We're just gonna slowly start stitching the perimeter of our pocket. Oh, you know what would be smart is if I bumped up my stitch length a little bit so that it wasn't so dim. So I have a 2.5 stitch length now. So it's a little bit awkward, but we'll make it work. Okay, and then we're going to go across the top of the pocket. down this previous stitch line and then across the bottom of this just to hold it in place. There we are, there's our little pocket, isn't she cute? Okay, let's go get her on our jeans. Okay, let me clear off a little space real quick. There we go. So now we can clearly see where my pocket was. And so we're just gonna align our pocket with where it was. And we're gonna use some pins to just secure it in place.
Okay. All right. Let me put one more in, just just for good measure, right in the middle. Okay. So there we have our pocket. Now, when we took off our pocket, at least for these jeans, I think with like all jeans, there's two rows of stitching around. So what we're going to do is we're going to start at one top corner. We're going to go down, basically following our, our stay stitch that we did around the perimeter of the pocket. And just do that and then come in and then do about a half inch away, do a second row. And that will secure our pocket on place. And that's, I mean, that's it. So let's go to the sewing machine one last time. Okay, so I'm gonna take off my quarter inch foot and put on my A foot. And I like the A foot because, let me get my pocket in here. So when you see, if you see the previous line of stitching, the center, if you align the side of the A foot up with that center, it's gonna be the perfect amount of space for our second line of stitches. So we're gonna try and get the underside of the jeans out of the way. Right, line up there. Drop my needle, pull it up, pull up my bobbin thread so I don't have a piece of thread mess. Put that under. All right, I'm sorry if I bumped the camera on this, but I'm going to have to do some maneuvering. Like I said, sorry about the camera. Now I'm going to take these pins out because I don't need them anymore. My pocket is halfway sewn on. Well, sick of poking myself. Okay. So now we're going to go straight across for a couple of stitches. We're going to go back and then forward again. You can do a bar tack stitch there just like there was in the, like when we took off our pocket, but I'm just gonna sew it on right now. So as you can see, I'm lining up this edge of the A foot with my previous line of stitching. I don't want to sew my pants closed. Hey guys, finish line, here we go. Okay, that's it. Go back and forth. Let's go back to the table. 
there we have it. Our cute little pocket is done. All right, could you miter the top corners to make it neater? Yeah, absolutely. You absolutely could. Yeah, for sure. And I have to say, like, my first, my first pocket is definitely cleaner than the pocket I just did today. But I'm live on camera, and I've never done this before, so it's not exactly the neatest thing. But yeah, here we go. These are our little patchwork jeans. I think they're adorable. And, you know, quilts are in fashion right now. So I think this is a great way to upcycle maybe a pair of jeans that are a little out of style. <clears throat> Give them a fresh little update. Thanks for joining me today. Like I said, I'm Ashley Doyle from Crinkly Quilts. You can find me on Instagram at Crinkly Quilts. Uh, my website is www.crinklyquilts.com. Monday, I started the Hexy Snowball So Long. It's that, that quilt right there in the back. That's my most recent quilt pattern. If you're wanting to give it a try, please join us. You can find all the details on Instagram or my website. So thanks for joining. Bye.